trying to track me for weeks. It's honestly quite entertaining. I almost feel bad for you. As much fun as it's been shipping people from GFHS together, it's more fun to taunt you. Attach this letter as a hint. I figured you need all the help you can get. I'm rooting for you, buddy. Sincerely, Tiger Ships. Hold on, what's going on? We're quiet, new guy. We're on the trail of a serial shipper. Uh, what? There's a TikTok account with an anonymous user who's putting pairings of relationships of GFHS students. And what's so bad about that? You just don't get it, do you, Miro? This account is posting pictures of people who aren't in relationships and saying that they should be in relationships. It's madness. Yeah, I still don't get it. That's because you're not one of the shipped. And Campbell, there was one other thing. A picture with the initials MD. MD? I don't have anybody on my board with the initials MD. Well, boss, you know there's only one way to know for sure. And what's that? We need to interrogate our possible suspects. Again. <sighs> Mackerel, what's the plan now? Well, I was thinking we could find the list of the students who bought yearbooks last year. That way we can finalize our list of possible suspects. Okay, but where would we get a list like that? Well, I was thinking the yearbook editor, Jameson. Oh, like okay, no, I have a plan. So, this is what we'll do. We'll go to Jameson. You know, he's the yearbook editor. And we'll rip the list of people who bought yearbooks last year out of his hands. Then we'll use that list to find our next targets. You really are a genius. Thank you. Hello, Greater Falls High School. I'm Dr. Loney. And I'm Hannah Mackenberg here with your Friday morning video announcements for September 17th. We have a lot of games and events next week. Let's go check in with your internet team. The football team is away tonight at Kashmir. Game starts at 7 p.m. Good luck, Tigers. The cross country team will be traveling to Port Angeles for a meet. Good luck to all our runners. Girls soccer is home against Sultan at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, September 21st. Come out and support our Lady Tigers. Volleyball will be home on Monday. The team takes on Sultan. JV plays at 5.50 p.m. and varsity at 7 p.m. Attention seniors, on Thursday, September 23rd, there'll be a class photo outside beginning at 9.20 a.m., weather permitting. Be sure to wear orange and black that day. Thank you, Grant and Now Team. You know, Duncan, with all these sporting events happening, it's really important that everyone follows the health and safety guidelines. That's right, Hannah. All right, Tristan has a special announcement about staying safe at school. Let's go check that out. Hi, I'm Tristan Perrin. Advanced Multimedia has given me the opportunity to talk to you about something we both really care about. Safety. Every Friday, AMM tells you to have a fun and safe weekend. But the weekends are not the only time to stay safe. Think about this. Indoor sports games are fun, but they're more fun when you're there. For the health and safety of others, please wear your mask. You do realize that by not wearing your mask, you are only cheating yourself out of a good time and a chance to support your team. If people don't comply with the mask rules, games can be cancelled or even forfeited, and no one wants that. Listen, you only have a few more years to do high school sporting events. AMM wants you to give yourself a chance to attend indoor sporting events while keeping everyone safe. And so do I.
Thanks, Tristan, for delivering that important message. Duncan, isn't it hard to believe that the first day of fall is next week? We all know fall means food drive, and I believe Grayson has already begun preparing for the special event. Let's go see what's going on with him. Jacob, well, what are you doing? You're being weird. What's with the Santa Claus suit? I'm practicing for the food drive. I'm going to be the best food drive coordinator this school has ever seen. Dinwiddie has some serious competition this year. Well, why don't you just wait for the meeting, September 22nd, Wednesday, right after school, in Ms. Sullivan's room. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. Thanks for the information. Yeah, you're welcome. See you later. The food drive is a great way to help out your local community. Duncan, we have some important news to share with everyone. We have the final results of the homecoming theme voting. In third place is Cinderella's Ball with 48 votes. In second place is Tangled Lanterns with 151 votes. That means the winner is Red Carpet Hollywood with 230 votes. Homecoming dance will be planned on October 23rd. Tickets will be sold two weeks prior. Well, that's all we have for you this week. We'll be back next Friday with another episode of Video Announcements. Have, have a fun, fun and safe, safe weekend. weekend. All right, Jameson, here's the deal. You have something, something that I need. I don't want to argue with you, so just give it to me. Evan, what are you talking about? And what are you wearing? It's Detective Campbell to people like you. And don't act dumb with me. I know you have the list of people who bought yearbooks last year, so give it to me. Calm down, Evan. You can have the list, but I don't have that information anymore, so you'll have to go to last year's files. Campbell, you cannot lose your cool like that. We have a reputation of professionalism to uphold. I know, I know. We've just been on this case for weeks. Yeah, but I have a feeling we're on the right track. All right, Matt Cumber, we need to find this list. Uh, what's my login? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, don't tell everybody in the whole building. Sheesh. Uh, what's the rest? Six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm in. So what's the plan now? All right, we need to find the list that Jameson said was in last year's yearbook. Here it is, right here. We're gonna have to interrogate everybody on this list. Won't that take forever? It's a price I'm willing to pay for justice. Grayson, you're being interviewed. We have a camera and microphone watching you. So anything you say can and will be used against you. Now, what do you know about Tiger Ships? I know nothing. Be honest with me, what do you know? You, it's not me, I don't know anything about it. Get him out of here. Mark, tell us what you know about Tiger Ships. Do it for, for the right price. We're detectives, we don't make any money. Really? Landon, what do you know about Tiger Ships? I don't know anything, I just, I'm a proud follower of the account, but I just, I don't know anything. You're the problem, not the solution. Get out of here. It's the last one of the day, Campbell. I don't even know why I'm here. I didn't do anything. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. We've been doing this all day. I'm tired of it, okay? So just be honest with me. Who's the shipper? Well, I mean, it couldn't be me, because I got shipped. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Matt Cumber's getting worse by the day. What about your boy, Miro? What do you mean? Yeah, Miro's one of us. Well, I mean, he kind of does come from Europe. Miro? 